and do all the things that I've been called to do. I was broke. And so being an introvert and not using my, my skill sets, I was, it was leaving me in a broke place. And so I learned how to create this alter ego where when needed, I would be able to use my voice to impact the masses. And so um, where my life really changed, and I always like to share this story, but I-, I Yeah, as, please do. Yeah, as I stated, I was, I, I'm originally from Virginia and um, in the process of graduating from Hampton, I had always tried all these different businesses. I was a professional tripreneur. I tried everything under the sun. And I like to say try because I never gave it my all. In fact, I don't even like to use the word try today because I mm -hmm. feel like when you say try, it gives you an excuse. So if it don't work, you can say, well, I tried when you know that your ass ain't really tried. Hello, somebody. Okay, excuse my language. And so I would try everything. 30 days, 60 days, 90 days max is what I would give it. And if it didn't work, but I never really worked it, I would quit it. Well, eventually I stopped trying stuff and I just would go to work every day. And, and I mean, this is with the bachelor's in computer science, barely making it. I had a pray car and, you know, times were tough. And so it wasn't until I got that call that my father, who was my last living blood parent, I was going into the hospital. My mom passed when I was 11 years old due to cirrhosis of the liver. And so if anybody knows what that is, you know what the lifestyle was like coming up. And now I got my father who I've seen overcome the, many of those challenges that my mom wasn't able to. And they telling me he's going to the hospital. Well, long story short, seven months later, he had passed away from cancer, from lung cancer. And that was probably one of the most difficult times in my life. Um, however, it's crazy because my father um, going through that challenge and actually now becoming my forever angel is also what propelled me to stop playing around. And a lot of times it's in those setbacks that we have in our lives that really actually change our lives forever. And unfortunately, I wish we didn't wait for the setbacks. Like I yeah. wish we didn't wait, you know what I mean? Because everything that I've ever desired to do, it was always in me. It's just that was kind of like that push. And so when he passed away, I moved to Atlanta to start my journey of entrepreneurship, was here for you know 10 years. And um, then in 2014, prior to moving, I started my journey of teaching people how to write books. I have a long story of that, but I'm not gonna get into all of that. I first started helping people write books and then I learned that a lot of authors out here are not making no money. In fact, 80% of most authors make less than $10,000 a year. So yes, well, I could have just been like any other book coach and no shade, no tea to nobody out here that's helping to produce books. I didn't want to just do that. Like I didn't just want to help someone write a book. I want to show authors how to turn that book into a tool and make multiple streams of income. So that's my mission now.